you guys. Starting my morning off right this morning with a nice little sweet potato, fried egg, and avocado for breakfast. I've really been trying to spend these last couple weeks since being home and being out of my typical routine of waking up in the bus with Jordan and Lola, making our coffee, going up to the land, working together, making videos together, and taking this time for myself to focus on my mental and my physical health. This last week since being home has been a little chaotic in a good way. It's been a lot of seeing friends and family and parties and I was in New York City over the weekend. So it's been really, really fun. But at the same time, it's really important for me to stick to the things like eating healthy, exercising, meditating, journaling, doing things for myself that keep me mentally sane and keep me physically feeling really, really good. So as I go about my day today, getting back into my routine, doing those things, I want to kind of chat with you guys a little bit about this reflection that I'm having over the last two and a half years and comparing the life that we have down in Panama, comparing it to what it feels like coming home and being home and almost kind of having this like reverse culture shock. So before we get into all that, I'm gonna crush this breakfast and then we'll get this day started. So obviously, as you guys know, oh my goodness, it's so in a little bit. Jordan and I have spent the last two and a half years together, together, 24 seven, nonstop, Day and night. So coming home for the first time without him and spending this time apart has honestly been like a mental shock for me. I feel like the first couple days I was like, you know what? I got this. I'm a strong, independent woman. I'm going to be fine. And then it really started to sink in probably like the third or fourth day. And I was really, really missing him. But now for free. Whew, I'm starting to feel a lot better now that I'm getting back into a routine over the last couple days. So the first thing that always helps me when I start really missing them and feeling sad about it is I head straight to the gym, get those dopamine levels going, get those endorphins going, and get a good workout in. workout in now it's time to head to the grocery store which is a place that I've grown a much deeper appreciation for coming back to the United States so Jordan and I have been in Mexico Central America Panama for the last 11 months and when you compare the grocery stores down there to the grocery stores in the United States it is so overwhelming and overstimulating I would literally Back in the day, I would spend like 20 minutes trying to pick out a box of crackers. You go down to Central America or Mexico and you got like two or three options. So you don't really have too much to choose from, which honestly, I feel like has made my life so much easier and it's really simplified things. So going to the grocery store now, I'm, I'm very appreciative of all of these options and the variety that we have, but it is definitely a lot more overstimulating than it used to be. And this reminds me of something else that I want to chat with you guys about pertaining to the grocery store or just any store in general, going out in public. I feel like when we left for our trip two and a half years ago, we really got a better sense of many different places in the world. And something that's very, very common down in Mexico, Central America, Panama, is you go out and public and it's very common for strangers to look at you and, and smile and start up a conversation. Everybody is, is usually just very, very kind. And I would almost get pissed off because I'm like, what the hell? Like, why isn't the United States like this? Which in some areas, in some instances, can be the case but in my opinion since being home i notice myself you know starting up more conversations or saying hello to strangers and people respond in a very very positive 
warm-hearted way. And it's really kind of shifted my perspective that I used to have thinking that, you know, everyone from Massachusetts are all just mass holes. And like, yeah, I, I, I get that to an extent. But I think more often than not, people crave that human connection. And when you put yourself out there and you're the one to initiate a conversation with a stranger, most of the time that stranger will initiate back and be just as kind. So that's a little something that I just wanted to share with you guys that I felt like kind of gave me a little breath of fresh air because I was nervous of coming back to the US and everybody just being so fast paced and grumpy and you know, in their own little tunnel vision on their phones. And you see that a lot, but sometimes if if you're the person to initiate the conversation or the hello or the kind gesture, like I said, more often than not, people will respond back. So now it's time to get a little grocery shopping because tonight we're having tacos. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. tacos in a really long time so we're having tacos tonight pretty pretty dang healthy I would say the one thing that I'll say that I do that's kind of a healthier version of your typical regular American tacos is instead of using sour cream I use Greek yogurt and it tastes pretty much exactly the same so before I dig into these tacos there's a quick little thing that I want to share with you guys that's been kind of running through my mind and I feel like it's something that I'm finally understanding in my own brain that I can hopefully verbalize it to you guys. And I don't know if it's just me or I'm just crazy, but let's see how this goes. So basically the whole reverse culture shock thing that I was explaining before, you have the very obvious culture part of this reverse culture shock, which is the culture. The culture is very, very different down in Central America or Panama compared to the United States. But there's another kind of part of it that I've been experiencing on a more personal level. And that has to do with the way that I feel kind of like with my personality when I come back home after being away for so long. So of course, you know, being away for two and a half years, you you change and, and you evolve and you grow and you mature and there's certain perspectives that change in your mind. And you're not gonna be 100% the same exact person you were two and a half years ago. I mean, deep down, you're gonna be the same person, but there's parts of you that are gonna be different. And I feel like when I'm not around the people that I associate myself with, such as my family and my closest friends, I almost go back to the insecurities and the bad habits that I had before, two and a half years ago, before we started traveling. And it's not a good or a bad thing, I think it's just something that I need to be able to let go and, and shake off and recognize that it's okay to not be the same person that I was two and a half years ago. And you know, I can I can own the person that I am today and, and, and the insecurities that I've let go over the last two and a half years, I don't have to carry them anymore. Just because the people that I associated with two and a half years ago may remember me as that person. So I hope, that I'm explaining this for you guys to understand. And if any of you guys have experienced anything like this, let me know if you've ever traveled, you know, for an extended period of time or you'd study abroad or if you were in the military, whatever it may be, if you were gone from home for a long time and you came back and you experienced something similar to this, let me know in the comments below. Cause honestly, I am very curious to know. So I just got off the phone with Jord and I just found out that in downtown Bogete, down in Panama where he is. He's with his mom and his stepdad, Bob. They flew down a couple days ago and they're actually having the annual Boguete Christmas tree lighting. So I figured it'd only be right if me and my mama did a little of our own Christmas tree decorating because our big tree that we have downstairs in the living room is actually up all year round. <laughs> that's, that's what we do here in the Dubo household. <laughs> so I'm bringing my own little tree up in my bedroom and we got a bunch of little mini ornaments 
and lights for the tree. We even have this tiny little mini skirt, which is adorable. So, it's time for us to have our own little festivities. <laughs> this is my little Christmas tree. I still have my old bedroom here, so it feels nice to be able to come home and have a little space back at home. So Ma, what are you going to turn my room into when I am officially, officially a resident of Panama? It'll always be a Kaylee room. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'll always have a place when I come home. <laughs> and then... When you have children someday, we could put a crib in here. No! And a bed. So when you come to visit, you'll have... Well, that's a long, long way from now. Yeah. So we don't have like to worry I about said, that quite I had you when I was 38. <laughs> You're only 25. It sounds like a pretty good age. <laughs> well, you guys, I think this is probably where I'm going to wrap this episode up. I know that this video was kind of a change of pace. Obviously, Jordan and I are not together. We're both in totally different environments, doing totally different things. But like I said before, we're, of course, missing each other a lot. And there are gonna be moments that are really, really tough and really, really hard. We're looking at this as a really good thing and using this time apart to reflect and to grow even more as individuals and to appreciate each other more. So I'm gonna end this night with a nice little magnesium bath, probably a cup of tea, probably some Christmas movies, and hanging out with my mom and my grandma, which I've been doing a lot since I've been home. And one other thing I want to kind of finish this vlog with is I love being home. It feels amazing. And I love spending time with my family and friends. But when I do come home, it just reassures and reminds me that what Jordan and I are doing, this life that we've created for ourselves and this new life that we're creating for ourselves down in Panama is exactly what I wanna be doing. And coming home and, and taking time away from that and space away from that just reassures it even more. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And Jordan and Lola, this one's for you. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in three very short weeks. I promise it's gonna fly by and we'll have our own little Christmas and New Year's together. I love you guys so much. And I love you guys, our subscribers, all you guys so much. And we'll be seeing you guys very soon. Peace and love.